this module, we'll be talking about phagocytosis of microorganisms and tissue debris. Many inflammatory cells, including monocytes, tissue macrophages, dendritic cells, and neutrophils, recognize, internalize, and digest foreign material, microorganisms, or cellular debris by phagocytosis. Recognition of microbes or dead cells induces several responses in leukocytes that are collectively called leukocyte activation. After leukocytes, particularly neutrophils and monocytes, have been recruited at the site of infection or injured tissue, they must be activated to perform the phagocytic function. Phagocytosis involves three steps. Step one, recognition and attachment of the particle to be ingested by the leukocyte. Step two, engulfment and formation of a phagocytic vacuole. Step three, killing or degradation of the ingested material. Let's go over these steps in more detail, starting with recognition. Phagocytosis is initiated when specific receptors on the surface of phagocytic cells recognize their targets. Nanos receptors, scavenger receptors, and receptors of various opsonins bind and ingest microbes. The macrophage mannose receptor is a lectin that binds terminal mannose and fucose residues of glycoproteins and glycolipids. These sugars are found on microbial cell walls, whereas mammalian glycoproteins and glycolipids contain terminal sialic acid or N-acetylgalactosamine. Due to this fact, the mannose receptor recognizes microbes and not the host cells. The efficiency of phagocytosis is greatly enhanced when microbes are opsonized, that is, coated, by specific proteins, opsonins, for which the phagocytes express high affinity receptors. The major opsonins are immunoglobulin G antibodies, the C3B breakdown product of complement activation, and certain plasma lectins, notably mannose binding lectin all of which are recognized by specific receptors on leukocytes. Opsonization is the process of altering bacteria to increase their susceptibility to phagocytosis. C3B and IgG are the two main opsonins for bacteria. C3B is the best complement opsonin. On to the next step of phagocytosis, which is engulfment. After a particle is attached to the phagocyte receptor, polymerized actin filaments push the plasma membrane forward to form pseudopods, which surrounds the foreign material. Later, the plasma membrane pinches off to form a cytosolic vesicle, or phagosome, that encloses the particle. The phagosome with the foreign material fuses to cytoplasmic lysosomes to form a phagolysosome into which lysosomal enzymes are released. The acid pH in the phagolysosome activates these hydrolytic enzymes, which then degrade the phagocytose material. During this process, the phagocyte also may release some granule contents into the extracellular space, thereby inadvertently damaging innocent bystander normal cells. Now let's talk about Chediak-Higashi syndrome. This is a defect in neutrophil chemotaxis and microtubule polymerization dysfunction, leading to defective phagolysome formation. The defective fusion of phagosomes and lysosomes in phagocytes lead to increased susceptibility to infections. There is also an autosomal recessive defect caused by a defect in the lysosomal trafficking regulator gene, or LIST gene. The LIST gene is important in controlling lysosomal trafficking. Clinical features of this syndrome include defective degranulation, delaying microbial killing, and neutropenia, recurrent pyogenic infections, 
giant granules in neutrophils, progressive peripheral neuropathy, and the cells being affected by melanocytes, which leads to partial albinism and platelets causing bleeding. Here are some other disorders that affect phagocytosis. Lazy leukocyte syndrome is a severe neutropenia with associated abnormal neutrophil motility. Job syndrome, also known as hyperimmunoglobulin E syndrome, is characterized by a defect in phagocytosis. Only immunoglobulin E is elevated, while other immunoglobulins will be unaffected. Lastly, there's Tuftsin deficiency. Tuftsin is a biologically active tetrapeptide that stimulates the functions of macrophages and polymorphonuclear granulocytes, such as motility, phagocytosis, immunogenicity, hexose monophosphate shunt activation, and bactericidal and tumoricidal activities. The most common infections involve the respiratory tract, like pharyngitis, tonsillitis, bronchitis, and pneumonia, and skin, and can be complicated by septicemia. Streptococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, and Candida albicans are the most frequent causative agents. Acquired Tufsin deficiency has been documented in different conditions, sharing a reduced splenic function.